we want to do is this is our six o'clock position. I want my tension dial to be in front of my six o'clock position. I always do that this way. So let's do it again. So here is my stitch dial at the six o'clock position. So when we look at this, this is our tension dial. This turns, there's a, there's a spring here and this part goes up and down. And when this nut is higher, the stitches are tighter, so closer to the top. When this stitch um, setting, gauge setting is lower, it's longer away, so it's longer. So at this point, it would make sense that we see these big boxes of stitches because look at all the threads above the nut. It's quite low, all right? So if we had never done this before and we're doing it fresh like this, I like to do it with the fiber on the machine because this will at least, even if it's scrap, so what we want to do is we see will give us a better tension beginning one thread two threads three threads and then the top four this is our guideline for successful knitting because that's what we did right here what we want to do now is set our zero point all right so this dial can move clockwise and it's not all the way down and it can move counterclockwise so if we move it counterclockwise, it's going up, okay? Making smaller stitches. If we move it clockwise, it's going down, making bigger stitches. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set our zero point. That's what I'm gonna call it, zero point. So with an open cam machine, set your zero point. So gently tighten the knot until it can't be any more tight. Perfect. Cool. And now look on top, it can't go any more tight. Now on top, let's look at which line or number is closest to the six o'clock position. Well, it's kind of four and a half. Because here's four, one, two, three, four and then half mark, half mark, half mark, half mark. So technically, it's four and a half mark, all right? So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get some nail polish and I'm gonna make a zero point mark. So on your dial, this zero point mark is the most important. Shake you up your nail polish. You can choose to note four and a half, or you, you can add nail polish like I am. All right. So I'm just going to give myself some room to do this. All right, good. Just need a little bit of color. Okay. And so this is the mark closest to the six o'clock. Okay, we'll let that dry. This is our zero point, meaning that this is the tightest all the way down that this setting can be on this machine. I do not know if I can knit at this setting. That is the positive negative with an open cam machine. An open cam machine sometimes can be too far down or too far up to correctly knit, things collide. That's fine, as long as you do have an access point and a guide that you can knit at, you know what works. We knew that we had those number of threads a moment ago when we were knitting. And the point here is to be able to reproduce our settings. All right, so shall we try to knit? Let's see what happens. This is at the tightest setting, okay? So there might be a lot of tension see the change in the tension you hear that it's really fighting I do not recommend it so let's go back to you could try it in the future well, what's happening is there's very little, little clearance okay and you can see how big those first stitches are from this row so this is zero point so what we're going to do now is any movement to 
tighten the stitches are gonna be in either half turns or full turns. So you see that pink? Now that's the only thing you see on this top part. All right, we're gonna do one full turn. And when we do tighten it, we are turning it counterclockwise, the tension dialed. All right, so that's one full turn. We can see how well that knits. Now these are loose. So I don't know if I want to knit so loose. Do you see how much more looser those stitches are? It's successfully knitting. All right, great. That was one full turn. Now let's do a total of two. In fact, I wanna skip ahead and do a total of three from zero. Look at the difference. These are really tight. These are really loose. And these are looser. So this was three turns from the zero point. I love that statement. All right. So with an open cam, you have those number of threads, not really precise. Or you can note the number of turns from your zero point. So that's what we're doing here. Okay. Now, if I used a different fiber and I started doing the zero point, what is the tightest? It may not line up to my six o'clock, which is fine. Just use your reference and go from there. Now, by doing that, this allows me to know in the future that if I wanna start knitting with whatever fiber or this fiber, then I can just turn it three and then go to broke. Then I can make my project. This is the reproducible setting. And this is what you need to be able to do. Some people use calipers, which measure the distance between one edge to another edge. And I haven't found digital calipers to be useful or to be reliable. So dial turns, you have a dial, turn it, you got it. So easy. So if you find a setting that works for you, stay with it.